All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more buckshot testing. And today, we've definitely got another very interesting combination out here to try. And it's one that should perform pretty well, at least in theory. But with the wad that these shells have, it definitely could mess with our pattern a little bit. So I'm definitely curious to see what actually happens with this being a combo that we know should work well with the shot size and the choke. But with this style wad, it could do just about anything, really. But as for the shells I've got out here today, I brought out some more of the Hornady varmin express shells they are a 12 gauge two and three quarter inch 24 pellet load of four buck moving about 1350 feet per second and we did test these once about two weeks ago or so and based on that initial test they seem to be somewhat decent loads but as you can see these do have the hornady versatite wad in them which is essentially just a flight control wad with hornady's name on it and i think that is really going to come into play with how these shells actually pattern today through this setup because it might work out for us or it might not we're just gonna have to test it and see what happens and as for the setup we've got to run them through today i brought out the mossberg a35 ultimag but i put this choke in now this is a kicks goblin thunder 680 constriction choke technically it is a turkey choke however with it being a 680 constriction it is essentially an extra full in typical 12 gauge terms because these a35s are overboard to a 10 gauge bore spec and we've tested four buck through this exact choke before with some fantastic results so we know the shot size with this choke works well but i don't know how that wad is going to do with the porting in here typically those versatite wads do okay with a little bit more constriction than what you might think but i think the porting in here is really going to be the key for today's actual results but as for today's test everything is set up the same as we usually do it for a buckshot test i've got the big sheet of paper at 40 yards i've also got the chronograph so we can get our velocity out of the shell and i've got the templates that we can lay up over over our target when we go down and take a look at it so i guess let's head over here and take this shot and see just what kind of results we're able to get from these varmin express four buck shells through this 835 and kick 680 it might work out really nicely or it might do some really weird things i don't know just yet but let's head over there and take a shot and see what we actually get out of it All right, so that shell gave us 1422 through the chrono. The boss claim is 1350, but from what I can remember, the last time we tested these shells, I think we got right at about 1400 or so out of the 1187. So I do believe that number is probably correct based on what we had previously seen, but I will say these shells are surprisingly light in the recoil department. Much lighter than any other two and three quarter inch buckshot shell across the board that I've tested. That wasn't just completely junk or a specific low recoil shell so that is rather surprising for these especially moving at these kind of velocities but if the pattern was able to actually hold up down at 40 yards then we should have some decent results but speaking of that pattern what were we actually able to get from these shells through that kick 680 let's go down and take a look and see what we actually got all right, well, now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. And for a reference, the white dot was my point of aim. The paper is 36 inches wide by about 42 inches tall or so. And we clearly have shot covering a good majority of that paper. Now, right off the bat, this is not a terrible pattern necessarily. It is a good bit broad and open throughout the main majority portion of our pattern there, which isn't always a terrible thing if you were to use these on like running coyotes or something but we definitely have some really weird things going on especially down here at the bottom you definitely have a few flyers and strings and stuff down there so overall this is a very interesting pattern because it is definitely not as good as what we had seen previously when we tested it the first time through the 1187 with its stock full choke that combo did way better and i think it comes down to the wad which i've already picked up off the range and it did some really strange things so we'll take a look at that here in a minute but this pattern is definitely on the fence it's not terrible in a sense but it's definitely pretty strange and did some weird things and i think it comes down to the porting in that choke the constriction we know is good for four buck and we know that generally speaking these versatile wads in my testing with them have done decently through modified full and extra full type of chokes so i don't think it was the constriction here i think it was the porting but we'll look into that more here in a second but let's throw a couple of these templates up here real quick just to take a look and see how it actually performed in some more real life type of scenarios. 
All right, so here's our 10 inch circle. And if we kind of line it up with where the middle-ish area of our pattern is and kind of give it best case scenario, we have five pellets that would have definitely been within there. So in a 24 pellet load, it's not terrible, but it definitely could have been a lot better, that's for sure. And I think I forgot to mention, but on this piece of paper, we do have 21 out of the 24 pellets. So we are missing a couple of them, which were probably flyers and stuff off that left edge or maybe off the top there. But let's throw a couple animals templates up and see how this would have actually performed if you would have taken this particular shot out in the field on an actual hunt. All right, so here's our deer template. For those of you that would use this shell or a four buck type of shell for deer, they can absolutely do it, especially at that kind of velocity that we saw at 1400 feet per second. But if you would have taken this particular shot on a deer in the field with that combination, you would have had a definite nine pellets that would have hit him. And you definitely would have come home with that deer. There's no doubt about it. You've got several of them right through the vitals there that would not have felt very good for him. That's for sure. Now, is it the ideal deer pattern? Probably not. Maybe for deer on the run this combo might be a decent choice for that but i think for most people it's probably a little bit more broad and open than what some people want to run for deer anyway so now let's throw the hog template up for those of you hog hunters and that template is a little bit better sized to something like a coyote as well so let's throw that one up and take a look at that all right, so here's that hog template. And if you would have taken this particular shot on a hog, you would have gotten at least 12 of them that would have definitely hit him. So yeah, you would have absolutely gotten that hog as well. And a coyote, for the most part, is probably just a touch smaller than this template. And you would have absolutely gotten him as well. So is this combination a failure? Definitely not in the grand scheme of things. It is still a usable combo and a usable pattern. Is it as good as what we have seen previously from these? Definitely not. Did it do some weird things with some flyers and strings in it? Yeah, it did. So would I trust this combo without taking several more shots and stuff? Probably not yet to actually take it out on a hunt or something. Considering what we saw out of that wad, which I guess let's swing over there and take a look at that now. Because it's definitely very weird and very interesting, that's for sure. Okay, and here's the wad from that shell, and you can pretty much immediately see that uh, we're missing a lot. Now, I will throw up a picture over on the edge here what this wad is supposed to look like so you can see the comparison, but yeah, we have half a wad, essentially. Now, I've shot probably 30 or 40 of these Versatite wads through a variety of different chokes and stuff, and I've never seen anything like this happen. It completely ripped the entire top half or cage or whatever you want to say off the top of that wad. These three little flaps are supposed to be little petals that kind of fold out of the side and that's all we have left with a base here there's nothing stuck there you can see the big dimples from that four buck sitting there but it just completely ripped the whole top of this off and i cannot find that other half so i don't think it played very well with that choke at all so considering that we saw the results that we did out of this i think we made out okay because that is rather strange and i've never run across anything quite like that before that's for sure all right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that result right there? The pattern itself isn't terrible. It's absolutely usable out to 40 yards or so for what you might need it for. But we definitely saw some really strange things here. We had several strings and flyers and stuff throughout that pattern. And that wad clearly did not enjoy going through that porting in that kicks choke, which is what I was kind of concerned with coming into it. The constriction we knew should be good, but how was that particular choke going to play with this particular wad? And I think we got our answer so i guess i'll leave it up to you guys what do you think about it all is that a pattern or a combo that you would actually use or is that just a little bit too broad and uneven and stringy for you or would you be concerned about consistency based on what kind of stuff we saw here with the wad and stuff is there another choke combo that you might think will do a lot better with these or might want to see with these shells maybe something that might be a little bit surprising that maybe shouldn't work but you might think it does. I don't know. Leave all your thoughts down in the comments as well as maybe what other stuff might you want to see. But with that being said, I've got some more testing to get done for you guys. So I'm going to get back to it. As always, we have the channel Instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like. All that information will be in the description if you're interested in it. But I'm going to get back to it. So I'll see y'all in the next one.